All right, some basic stuff. Adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. We'll define this in a second. Um, so when we multiply negative 3x cubed times 5x, look at the negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, and x cubed times x, well, there's 3x's and 1x, so that makes x to the fourth. 9x minus 18x. Those are like terms, so you could say negative 9. 9 minus 18 is negative 9x. Um, 10y squared plus 7y minus 8y squared. So we can combine those two. And 7y minus 1. This one we can distribute. Just making sure you're careful of the signs. Negative 20a. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. 4 times 6 is 24. Negative 2a. And that minus also applies to the last one. So negative 2 times negative 8 is a positive 16. So you get negative 22a. And 16 and 24 make 40. All right, each side of a square. So we have a square. Each side is 2x plus 5 inches long. Write an expression for the perimeter. So you could say 2x plus 5, 2x plus 5, 2x plus 5, and add them all together. Or you could just say, because it's a square, you could say 4 times 2x plus 5. And so 8x plus 20 is our expression. So what is a polynomial? Well, all of the things we just dealt with, all of these answers are polynomials. What do they have in common? Well, poly just means many. And really what we wanted to define is a monomial. Many monomials. And it doesn't have to be many. One, two, or more. Is a x to some power n. A is has to be a real number. And this has to be a whole number. By that, I mean 0, 1, 2, 3. And to be honest with you, I get my whole numbers and my natural numbers mixed up. So if it includes 0 or not. But I want it to include 0. So that's what I mean. Now, the degree of a polynomial, that's the highest power x is raised to. So highest power. So in this first one, the degree of the first one was 4. Degree of this one, 1. Degree of this one, 2. In this case, it's y. but And in this case, the degree a is raised to the first power. All right. So let's add these polynomials. All we're doing is combining like terms. Now, these parentheses sometimes confuse people, but we're just adding this to this. Don't be wanting to distribute just because... Don't be wanting to, to foil it out and do all that. So 4x cubed minus 5x cubed is a negative 1x cubed, or you could just write that. 4x squared negative minus 2x squared is plus 2x squared. Negative 3x minus 4x is a negative 7x. And 10 minus 4 makes 4, 6. Degree, 3. Highest power x is raised to. And we typically write them in decreasing order of, of powers. So in this one we need to subtract, and the biggest thing is that it's subtraction. And so we're subtracting 13y squared, and we're subtracting a negative 4y, and we're subtracting 7. So take this and distribute it on 
through. So 6 minus 13, negative 7y squared, minus 2y, negative 13 minus 7 is negative 20. Now you may not have like terms in every one of those, but that's what we're talking about. So the degree to this one is 2. So find all your like terms and add them. So now, multiplying polynomials. We are adding, subtracting, you want to make sure you distribute. Multiply. So what we have here is called a binomial times a trinomial, 2 times 3. And really the biggest thing is that you have a system. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 2x minus 2x squared. x times 3 is 3x. Now, you've dealt with the x and put that with each one of them. Take the negative 5. I'm going to line them up underneath their like term. Negative 5 times a negative 2 is a positive 10x. And then negative 5 times 3, negative 15. So all I did here is this, we're lining up our like terms so that they're easier to find. There's nothing wrong with writing them all out, but then you have to go on a hunt for their like terms. So line them up as you go, and you don't have to do that. Alright, so number four is the exact same thing, just backwards. So if you want to, you can start from the 2x and go this way, but I'm going to show you that this is the same as doing this. So 3x squared times 2x is 6x cubed. 3x squared times 3 is 9x squared. Then 3x times 2x is 6x squared times 3, 9x. And 5 times 2x is 10x. And 5 times 3 is 15. I'm going to make this look like a 10. So you combine all your like terms. 6x cubed, 15x squared, plus 19x, plus 15. And that's how we multiply a binomial times a trinomial. Again, it's just as much of as having a system, just like you have a system when you used to say FOIL for first, outside, inside, and last. So, same thing here. So you get 25y squared plus 15y minus 15y. And we could have known that was going to happen because this is what we call, these are what we call conjugates. Again, right? And we saw that already. Um, and then negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. So, what I'm saying is, if you notice that 1's a plus, 1's a minus, you don't even have to write this middle part down. You could just go straight to that. Also, 4a plus 7 squared, do not write 16a squared plus 49. That is one of the biggest mistakes I see. It's the most, most incorrect statements I see. So, do not don't, don't do that. Okay, instead, what you have to think of it as is 4a plus 7 times 4a plus 7. And I usually just think of this in my head so that I can do 4a times 4a is 16a squared plus 28a and 28a. And so in my head, I do that automatically and go straight to the um, 56a, 28 times 2. And then 7 times 7 is 49. And so most often, I imagine this part of my head, I do the 28 and 28 make 56, and I go straight to this. That's a really good, um, good habit to get into. Um, Mn... minus 6 cubed
so we're writing it out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to group these two together, do mn squared, I guess it's m squared n squared, and then subtract there's 6mn and another 6mn, so negative 12mn. Oops. And that's what I was just talking about. Plus 36. m cubed, n cubed. Minus 6, m squared, n squared. Minus 12 m squared n squared and 12 times 6 is 70 um, and then that's mn and so we have first those two and now 36 mn and 36 times a negative 6, negative 216. So we have m cubed, n cubed, minus 18, m squared, n squared, plus 106, minus 216. Now, as these get bigger, as you raise them to the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, what we're getting at is binomial expansion, and that's, that's for another day. But just have a system for doing this. You could have multiplied these last two together and you would have gotten this after that. That works as well. Just have a system. So that's what I'll do here. I'll multiply those two together first. x minus 5 times, that'll be x squared um, minus 2x plus 3x minus 6 and again we're just I typically in my head would have gone straight to negative 2x plus 3x is plus 1x and then just have a system x cubed x squared minus 6x minus 5x squared minus 5x and plus 30 so you have x cubed minus 4x squared minus 11x plus 30. And if you must, if you have your calculator handy, you can always just double check that your x minus 5, x plus 3, x minus 2, is the same as our x cubed minus 4x squared. 11x. There's the one graph, and there's the other. Now, if you can see it tracing over it, or you can just hit the second button and notice that all your y values are the exact same. So, and I want to leave this one for you to try.